Hello, my name is George Hune. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to prioritize projects in a portfolio using OPSI's built-in Monte Carlo simulation capability. Monte Carlo simulations allow you to virtually run the projects in your portfolio thousands of times to get a distribution of value score outcomes for each project. These distributions can be based on the uncertainty in your model, that is, the uncertainty in the attribute weights that you assign in the decision model, or these distributions can be based on the uncertainty in the project attributes themselves, or these distributions can be based on the combined uncertainty of the attribute weights and the attribute values in the projects. Monte Carlo simulations can be complex and difficult to set up in spreadsheets, but you're going to see how easy OPSI makes it for you to do in your portfolios. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up our decision manager form and click on the prioritizer tab. This is where the statistical data for your prioritizations is stored. Next, we're going to click New to open the form for selecting the portfolio that we want to prioritize. We expand the decision model to see the portfolios underneath it and select the one we want, and then click the OK button to open the OPSI prioritizer form. So the first thing we're going to do is name the prioritization, and we'll call it My First Prioritization. Next, we will select the prioritization type. The first choice, variable weights, will vary the decision model attribute weights depending on the attribute order specified in the box next to the prioritization type box. So we're going to pick rank attribute order, which will vary the weights while keeping the rank order the same. In other words, the highest weighted attribute will always be the first attribute, the next highest weighted attribute will always be the second attribute, the third highest weighted attribute will always be the third attribute, and so on. The important thing to remember when using the variable weights in ranked attribute order is that the weights will change with every individual simulation, but the rank order of the attributes will remain the same. Our next choice in prioritization type is variable projects. If we select this, the attribute weights remain constant at their fixed values in the decision model, but the project attribute values are varied within the range designated by the uncertainty assigned in the attributes. For example, if cost was assigned a value of 50, plus or minus 10 percent, the value for the cost would randomly vary between 45 and 55 according to the uncertainty distribution selected in the Portfolio Uncertainty Distribution box below. Our next choice in prioritization type is Combine. If we select this, both the attribute weights and the project attribute values are varied simultaneously. This choice tests both the uncertainty in the model and the uncertainty in the project data. So, we're going to select Combine and then select Uniform as our Portfolio Uncertainty Distribution. Next, we're going to set the number of simulations to 1,000, which means that we're going to run 1,000 different portfolios. Finally, we're going to set the weight range to 3,000. This means that the maximum weight that will be used in any simulation will be 3,000. In general, the more weighted attributes that you have, the higher this number should be, so that it gives them more degrees of freedom to separate themselves in a given simulation. If this number is too small, the attributes will be too close together. The weight bias is used when you want to bias several attributes over others in the model. This is often useful when you have more than seven weighted attributes and you want to have the top three or four attributes to have a bit more weight in the models than the other attributes. As an aside, in general, we don't recommend more than seven or eight weighted attributes because it tends to dilute the influence of all the attributes too much. And that's it. Now we're ready to run, and we simply click Run Prioritization. As you can see, a progress indicator appears so that we can see what the prioritizer is doing. And it will take about a minute to run. As you can see, it's creating the portfolios, and then it will analyze the portfolios to generate the statistical results. The next thing it does is save the distributions, finish up, and then display the statistical report. As you can see, this report contains all of the statistical information about the simulation, including the average rank for each project, the standard deviation, 
the highest rank achieved, the lowest rank achieved, the cumulative percentage rank, the average value score, and the standard deviation of that score. All of these can be visualized in custom charts that we'll be discussing in our next video. The beauty of prioritizing projects using value scores generated this way is that you have a very robust score based on thousands of analyses instead of just one analysis as you find in other project portfolio management software solutions. As you can see, OPSI makes performing project portfolio prioritizations using Monte Carlo simulations really easy for business managers to do. And you can try it yourself by signing up for your free trial today. Thanks for watching.